Hey y'all, welcome. Welcome back to part two of Artistic License, and we're gonna play some more of our Final Fantasy X-2 New Yevon run. Okay, here we go. Boop. <clears throat> okay, I decided to eat my snack off of stream today. No camera or anything. Gonna write some starters. Okay, okay, I understand, I understand. Do it, do it. After stream, I gotta write my starters too. I meant to do it yesterday. I didn't freaking do it, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it today. I told myself, I promised myself. And I have the day off tomorrow, which is good. So I can do replies then. Okay, we are gonna next go over to Meehan High Road. So if we did everything right in previous chapters, um, we're gonna get a pretty cool prize from this. Our proprietor, Rin, is presenting the result of his investigation into the High Road's troubles of late. Would you mind accompanying me to the travel agency? Not at all. Let's go. Let's go to the travel agency. All right. So while here, we're going to walk back out. And that should. Yep. There we go. Okay. Let's see what happens. I am glad you are all here. I would like to talk about the recent string of incidents occurring on the high road. That's pain. She is amazing. First, let's discuss the circumstances surrounding the hover crash. Marks found along the new road seem to indicate something fell from the road into the ravine below. The injured person found near the crash, trashed hover has been identified as its pilot. Now, let us consider the runaway drone Machina. <clears throat> the Machina can only be configured for operation through the control panel behind the agency. Naturally, I considered that someone might have tampered with the control panel. However, after seeing a man fall off the agency's roof, another possibility struck me. An impact where it's strong enough could also be the cause of a machina to malfunction. Such an impact would not necessarily require bestial strength. Even someone weak could deal a forceful enough blow with a little help from nature. Suppose, for example, someone were to jump down from a great height, that would do it. So we're trying to find out who the culprit is. Now then, Based on what you do, Rin knows. To figure out who perpetrated these nefarious acts. We have already heard some testimony. The hover lost its balance and overturned while attempting to avoid a passerby. But who could that passerby be? According to the hover's pilot, it was an albed female. Oh, there's two of those. He found footprints <clears throat> in one of the malfunctioning machina. So, let me ask you all. Has anyone recently been to the ruins at the High Road South End? Hmm. And does anyone recall jumping down from a great height? Actually. What? No one else? One final question. Would the Albed ladies please raise their hands? Please try to recall what happened, Riku. She looks happy. Whatever works for her. Shall we? <coughs> Wow. Wow, Riku. Look at you. Remember that from the Chocobo thing mission? That's why we wanted to get that scene and we didn't want to win too early. Precisely. The other crew <coughs> were trying to avoid hitting you, and you caused the drone machina to malfunction when you landed on it. You, Riku, are the one who caused these two incidents to occur. Hey, Apatif. I am sure you meant no harm, but your carelessness invited disaster. Allow me to determine Riku's sentence, if I may. What sentence? 
sentence. Her braids are pretty epic. I don't know who would actually have enough hair to do them. I think you'd have to have a wig or extensions. But they're pretty amazing. Didn't expect trash duty. Mm -mm. Phew. Glad that's all over. You must be tired. As Nato the noob. <clears throat> Why the chocobos? They were being employed to power a ferry boat, so I purchased them. Oh. That's great. But can I go home now? I picked up all the trash. All of the trash? Every last piece. Look. I thank you for your hard work. The chocobos made all more trash. Yeah, they aren't. This isn't fair. She didn't do it on purpose. But you do want, at least for your first playthrough, to try to get it to be um, Riku that's the culprit because you get a Ragnarok. You want that. How are you doing today, Affetif, by the way? Are you having a good weekend? Okay, so now, now we've done that. Kendra would riot if someone calls feathers trash, right? I can't believe they want her to pick up all the feathers. That's ridiculous. Why they being sexy as hell? What in the world? Because they are sexy as hell. Jane, this is Pretty Pretty Princess dress up the Final Fantasy game. That's literally what it is. Like, they, they dress up in different outfits. <coughs> Alright, so we do have to go back to me and High Road to get, like, a whole bunch of items. Um, but let's check our percentage. We should be at 84.2 from that. Um, so let's make sure. Okay, yes, we're at 84.2. Well, you should have led with that. I'm way more invested now. <laughs> oh, awesome. Yeah, no, they're, well, I've got them all on Berserker at the moment, but they can do all kinds of outfits. Um, okay, so let's go back to Meehan High Road and let's um, let's get all the items and, and talk to the peoples. Okay. So in this first part, apparently we're going to fight. Yeah, so this is Berserker Dress Sphere that I have them on right now, which is why they all look like cat people. And uh, Berserker's amazing. But the outfits that they have by default, like when they're just walking around that you've seen in the cutscenes, that's Yuna's gunner outfit, Riku is in her thief outfit, and Pain is in her warrior outfit. Doing well, got my coffee and vibing, fuck yeah. I had um I had the new pumpkin chai iced thingy this morning. Oh, it was so good, but it was really sweet. Okay, I guess the chest, there's three chests in this area, but I guess they're not yet. But anyway, you can do publicity with these two guys yet again. So the, um... So the, the lady in blue, you do the first one for both. And then this lady right here, you do the second one for publicity and the fifth one for matchmaking. <clears throat> I love that they made her run like a girl, right? Right? She runs so silly. It's awesome. Yeah, so they've all got the same dress fear on right now, but you can see that even though they are all the same, like, job at the moment, they have all got different outfits on. So this this game is, like, all about the outfits. I feel like I missed a chest back there. Like, there should have been one... There should have been one back there. Hang on. Let me just... Let me just turn encounters off and look a little bit more thoroughly. Because <clears throat> I feel like usually on Meehan High Road, there's like a chest over in this corner. Or like in the back. On the actual like platform area. That leads into Luca. Like there. Or there. Okay, I guess it really isn't. Okay, really all the chests are, are more this way. Okay. Oh wait, no, there it is. I knew there was one back towards the beginning. Anyway, this one's some Phoenix Downs. Okay, let's get past the ladies and we can turn encounters back to normal. Oop, not supercharged. There we go. I love chai as well. Yeah, it's really good. I liked it. I liked it a lot. My only complaint is that it was pretty sweet. I wish it had been a little less sweet. So it would taste more pumpkin-y and more chai. 
But it was good. I recommend trying it for this year. It's like their new their new pumpkin drink, you know. So I recommend getting into the fall, uh, the fall vibes and getting one. I'm seeing I'm seeing a Starbies apple something. Yeah, I didn't try the apple something, but there is an apple something too for fall. Oh, there's no chest here. I thought there's usually a chest like up here, but I guess not. <clears throat> the line was too long today, but I'll try them all. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've had that, it's really good. It is. Maybe I'll have to try the apple thing. It's not in there. <laughs> I wonder how close they are. Are well, close they are. They all are on those abilities. Oh, they're only like halfway with magic counter, the heck? A little over halfway, I guess. Oh, she's much farther, okay. She's like two thirds. All right, this guy also you can do publicity with. And there's a chest, oh. Yeah, because they're berserkers right now, that's why they're all, like, attacking really fast, because that's kind of how this particular dress sphere works. Alright, this is 3,000 kill. So for this guy with publicity, um, you can do the third one. And there we go. Um, we definitely missed a chest. There's supposed to be a black belt. Let me... So I can actually search, turn off encounters. Where the heck is it? It's along this road somewhere. I say my notes for chapter five are not as good, so I'm not surprised. Like, I, I don't have this notated very well. I just have it on the list that there's a black belt here. Okay, it's, I don't, it's not on this side, I guess. Is it back here? No, it's not behind the ladies. It's usually, so the second chest is usually up around the little ruins area. Why didn't I find it when I was there? A look again. Is it there and I just totally missed it? Okay, it's not inside. I don't see it on that screen. Is it somewhere on this screen? Can I climb up this thing? No. I could have sworn there was a black belt on this part of Mihen High Road in Chapter 5. Okay, there's the first chest again. And there's no chest over here. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I swear there's another chest here with a black belt in it, but I am just, like, not seeing it. <clears throat> it's, like, hiding somewhere. Is it back here? No, you can't really get back there. Yeah, maybe I just noted it wrong and it's in a different area of Mihen. But I could have sworn there was three chests here and one was a black belt. Yeah, it's not there. Okay, well. If we missed it, at least I told you about it. But I didn't see it. Okay, let's go to this next area. 
So there's no um, there's no publicity to do in this next area, but there is a chest, so we're gonna try to find it. Man, they put some strong enemies on me, Hen. High road for chapter five. He's in some of the scarier models. Yuna! Oh my gosh, I'm gonna fight another battle immediately. Okay, wait. I know there's a chest here. My god. I did do like some practicing, but I didn't I didn't practice the Mihen High Road section. So like I'm a little bit like what the heck? Confused. There it is. Walked right freaking past it. Remedies. Okay. So we missed the black belt somehow. So we'll have to come back and explore that first area a little bit more. We'll be confused with you. Thank you, Jane. We'll have to come back and explore that first area a bit more. I I have an idea of like why I didn't see it, what we might have to do instead. Um, but we'll come back to that. If I'm right. Okay, so here's this chest. Come on. And on this chest is some high potions. This lady you can do publicity with, or we're going to do a battle first. All right, this lady right here. For publicity, it's the fourth one. And then for matchmaking, come on, it's the second one. Get him, get him. Boom. Don't you thun dog on me. <clears throat> How's that? But yeah, we're spending a lot of time on the Berserker Dress Sphere in particular because of those like evade encounter the evade encounter ability, because basically they're they're unstoppable against certain bosses because of that. All right, so this is a titanium bangle in this chest right here. See, this is a giant flan too. Like there's these random like giant enemies in chapter five. The little flower thing I think is giant as well. Is the third chest here? No. There it oh there it is. Get him, get him. And this is some holy water. All right, then if we come over towards the end of the road here, we can do publicity with that guy at the end. All right. So 
So this one right here for publicity, um, <clears throat> you do the second one. Yeah, take that. agency okay so at the agency if we come around behind I think is it back here it's not back here must be on the ledge oh well you can do publicity with this guy um, <clears throat> and you do the first one I don't, there's supposed to be a chest here, but let's go inside because I don't see the chest. Because inside, there is two more publicity people. Um, so with the lady, you can do the um, second one for publicity and for matchmaking, the fourth one. And then for the guy, you can do publicity and the third one. All right, there is a chest somewhere. Is it towards here? No. Ah, uh, I see it. It's back behind this chocobo. New chest spot. Alright, so this is some remedies. Then we're gonna come over here. And we're gonna go through this screen. That same lady that's on the next screen, um, you can do publicity with her. So we're gonna go find her. Yeah. You're going down. That's the spirit. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Take that. Yeah, where are you going, Payne? You're not going anywhere. She is. She's super emo. Oh my god, Jane. If you're liking this, you've got to go back at some point and watch my 10-2 episodes on YouTube so you can see Payne's story. Because, like, it's super emo. Like, super emo. Okay, so the... Oh! I thought she was here. There was a lady here. Oh, she's, I guess she's in a different spot now. I thought the lady in yellow you could do publicity with, but I don't see her. Right. She was on the bridge in all the other chapters. Next. 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 
Yeah, what Pain was doing during the time that Yuna was um, fighting Sin was like so tragic. Basically, she was like she was like a a soldier re reporter, um, and it's horrible what happens to her. She gets shot at one point. As a teen, I was considered emo, so she was my automatic favorite in the game. I still love her, though. Yeah, I love her, too. Like, she's the new character, so I'm, like, ready to be, like, thinking, like, she's eh, meh, whatever. But she's actually awesome. There's the lady. She's all the way freaking down the road. Why'd you go all the way down the road, lady? Your other spot was good. Yeah, kind of. Like, it's, d it's weird, the way that they've got it set up in Spira. Um... But yes. Devon, hello! How are you doing? Okay, so for her, um, publicity, we do the fourth one. And then for matchmaking, we do the first one. There we go. Okay. Yeah, except she's not on the bridge anymore. What the heck? She was supposed to be on the bridge. <laughs> she does love Machina. All of her lines, if you talk to her, are about Machina. Okay, so on this screen... There's some M-bombs. And this little boy right here, you can do publicity with. And he does the fifth one. And then we are actually going to rent a chocobo. Um, I want to ride a chocobo. Okay. So I just talk to it, right? That's okay. what she said. <laughs> that is what she said. That is. Okay. And then we go back this way. And you can do these jumps on the chocobos. We're just looking for feathers. You can only do this in chapter five. So there should be... Maybe it's on the old road. I thought it was here, but maybe it's on the old road. Because I'm not seeing the feathers. That was the calm sphere. I thought I saw a feather out the corner of my eye, but no, that was the calm sphere. It's not even the same color. So, anyways. Maybe the chocobo stuff is down here, because there's two treasures that you can get from the chocobo. Oh, can I open this? Yeah, oh, some softs, okay. Oh, can I still do the publicity from the back of the chocobo? I guess I could. If that's the case, then this guy in purple, when you do publicity with him, um, it's the second one. This lady, you can also do publicity. Um, and she's the fourth one. And then for matchmaking, the first one. And then we'll run all the way down to these two guys. This is some echo screens. Um, the guy on the bottom, you do the third one for publicity. And the guy on the top, you do the first one. I did not mean to get off the chocobo, oh my god. I want that chest, though. Come on, open it. There we go. Some high potions. Okay, where the frick are the feathers? Okay. 
Maybe I was in the right area at first and I just wasn't looking hard enough. Oh, there it is. Okay. Which button do I press? There we go. Am I ever? All right, so this is some Phoenix Downs. And then we should be able to do it again for another treasure. Man, that feather was hidden. I could not see it. Come on. It's the same spot, I think, for the second treasure, right? Is it supposed to take forever before the pop-up happens? Maybe I have to leave the screen and come back. We're gonna Google Gamer this. Okay. Oh, there we go. I just, I just was being impatient. I was being impatient. There we go, Victor Primoris. Okay. So. Is it not an accessory? Yeah, okay. So it allows full throttle to break the damage limit. Um, just this Machina booster, that's why we went all the way back to Meehan High Road, because it allows Machine Maw to break the damage limit. These are their spe the special dress spheres for... Um, for, for the girls. And then Twilight Rain, we got him in, in uh, Besaid. It allows Floral floral Falal to break the damage limit. And I'm pretty sure we get to keep those in New Game Plus, just like you get to keep Albed Primers. Okay, so I think that was everything on Meehan. I think we got it all. Except for the Black Belt. Which I'm still convinced exists. So we are actually going to go take another look at that. Because everything else I thought I was supposed to get here, I got. But I did not find the black belt. Sorry we had to win. I'm not. I 
I'm wondering if this is a Chocobo one too. So I'm wondering if I can like climb those ruins with a Chocobo. No? Maybe my notes are just wrong and there isn't another chest here with a black belt in it. But I could have sworn there was. Yeah, no feathers to jump. I guess it was just that other spot. Okay. Well, anyways, let's board the airship and go to the next area. Boom! Alright, next area is Jose Temple! We're gonna see what's going on with the machine faction. Um, but first... We're gonna get some chests in here. Oh, it's gonna make us, okay, we have to do the scene first before we can collect things. Super weapon. Well now, that sounds like a day. What do you say? He wants us to challenge their unbeatable machina. Unbeatable. I bet I can beat it. Okay, this is explaining to you about repair manuals and stuff. It's whatever. So it's so you want to fight it once when it's not at level five, but we're gonna do some stuff to get it to level five for all three of those and then fight it again. But this time when you fight it, it's pretty easy. So we're just gonna take it on. And he's up in the Anixia area. Mission time. So he's definitely beatable right now, very easy. I'm not even going to change to, like, different dress spheres. We're just going to use the Berserkers. Even though they're they're kind of um, squishy. But that's okay. Because they'll kill him fast. And that's it, he's done. Very simple. And we're gonna go level him up in a bit. We really trashed him. Tell him this. Diga win delic yut kujai. And mega win your daddy da. Stronger Machina? Build a stronger Machina? Hey, he understood me. Alright, so we gotta repair him to be able to fight him again. And then we have to we have to build him up as well. So there are lots of different um repair manuals. There's one that's pretty easy to get that we're gonna get in just a moment. In this room we have a remedy? <gasps> oh my gosh, thank you so much, baby skull kid. Thank you so much. Um, oh, we need to do a pin too. In this room over here, we have, oh no, there's not a chest. Oh, but there are chests up there. Okay, you guys, let's do this. Okay, hang on. Hang on YouTube, sorry. And we're back, we're back with bubbles. <laughs> okay, so, um, all right, so we need to go up into this area because there's some chests up here. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 
it makes so many bubbles you guys like so many bubbles i love this thing right it's so good okay so uh i think yeah here's this chest right here so this is a mana spring and then we go up Can the elevator for a few more <laughs> thank you thank you thank you <laughs> um okay then up the elevator oh no it's not over there it's back here yeah up the elevator we've got this chest which is a soul spring <laughs> if we go back up here uh it's behind the machina i thought where is it is it like literally off the camera off camera here or is it in the chamber of the faith um Okay, there's a chest. I don't think that's the one we're looking for. Yeah, this is a hyper wrist. There's a power wrist, too. <laughs> uh, where is it? Ah, there we go. Power wrist. I just had to press A a bunch. Now, if you talk to this guy, um, you can repair the machina. Right? I thought I had a repair manual. Hmm. I guess it's back down. I guess I forgot to grab it. Anyway, you can only repair you can only repair the machina and refight it so many times um, before you can't anymore. But there is a repair manual inside here, so you can go ahead and repair it. We're only going to fight it twice. We're not going to fight it a ton of times. Do you have to talk to them? Is that what it is? There we go. How to repair with soul. You're welcome for saving your hides. <laughs> okay, now we go back up and give him the repair manual. Sure, here you go. Okay, now when you go back up there, you can fight it again if you want. But um, we're not we're not going to fight it again just yet. We're going to level him up first and then fight him again. My cat likes popping balloons. Haven't tried bubbles. So we did when we got this. We did let the cats play with it for a while. Um, a couple of the cats liked it, not all of them, but some of the cats did like popping the bubbles. It took them a while to kind of understand what it was, though. All right, so back out here, I get distracted by all the bubbles in front of me. <laughs> um, okay, so this lady, yeah, so this lady right here, you can do publicity with, you can do the third one, and then for matchmaking, you can do the fourth one. And then... This Albed lady, you can do publicity with, and you can do um, the first one. And then matchmaking, you can do the fourth one. Oh no, I messed it up. Oh, it was supposed to be the fifth one. I can't read. It's okay. It's okay, though. It's okay if we don't get perfect on the matchmaking. We'll, we'll have enough. Um. <laughs> Okay, um, this guy sitting on the ground here, you can also do publicity with. It's supposed to be the second one. Okay. Um, Alexa, how much longer on my timer? Oh, there it goes. Alexa, stop. <laughs> okay. Unfortunately, I can't do too many bubbles too often, um, because everywhere and they're kind of messy. But, uh, but I do love doing them. <laughs> now I have to, like, I'm gonna have to clean it, clean everything, because I've got bubble soap all over me. Anyways, maybe I should have done one minute instead of five, but it's been a minute since we did bubbles, and I really wanted to show them for a minute. Um, okay, where were we? 
Okay, um, we gotta go back over here. Uh, this guy right here, you can do publicity with, and you do the fourth one. Uh, this one right here, you do the first one. This one right here, you do the third one. And you can do matchmaking with her as well, the fifth one. This guy, you can do um, the fifth one for publicity. And this lady right here, she's finally over here instead of over in the Moonflow area. And um, you can do the third one of publicity with her and then for matchmaking the fifth one. That was great. Uh, thank you so much. I love the bubble machine. It's awesome. Um, okay. Oh, uh, no, it's a different Albed lady. Okay, there is still an Albed lady. Oh, go back. There's some X potions, and I just realized we missed a chest back at the temple, too, when we were doing that little cluster of, uh, of publicity ones. There's also a chest. Let me go back and grab it. It's over way to the side, so I just missed it. It's like way over here. Right? I thought. Maybe not. There it is. All the way in the corner into Phoenix Downs. So yeah, Bubbles is our is our cheer and tip reward. Now that's what we do for those. Like how we have the pins for the subs, we have Bubbles for the, the cheer and tip reward. Okay, so I was wrong. That lady is still like where she was at the start of the moon flow, so we're gonna go over to her. And for publicity, for her, you can do the third one. And then for matchmaking, you can do the first one. Now we're not gonna walk all the way down that moon flow road. We are gonna go to moon flow next, but there's no reason to walk all the way down that road. So we're gonna go back to the save sphere in uh in jose i'm sorry i'm sorry youth league that we didn't choose you i'm sorry we'll choose we'll choose you in new game plus we'll choose you in new game plus All right, let's save and check our percentage. We should be at 84.6. So let's use our little handy dandy tool. Yep, 84.6, okay. Whee, okay, and let's go to Moonflow. Let's see what's going on there. All right, so you can do a couple of um, publicities here. This kid, also you can do publicity with just like you've been able to do in the other chapters. You do the fifth one for him. If we come back over here, this kid beside the stairs, you can also do publicity with him. It's the fifth one. And then if we take the shoe puff to the next area, there's a person we can do publicity with. There is bubble soap everywhere now, you guys. <laughs> I think I, I think I need to dilute it. I think I need to dilute it because uh, we've used I think we've used enough of the soap that I can put some water in and fill it fill it up and then it's like diluted so then it doesn't get everywhere. I can smell it from here. <laughs> I believe you, Jane. I believe you. All right, this lady right here you can do publicity with. You do the fifth one and then for the matchmaking you do the fourth one. 
All right, then let's go back. And actually do the uh, do the mission for here. There's like bubble soap on my monitors. How do you remember all of these publicity things? Jane, I have a secret. I have a, I have a secret. I write it down. I write it down. Uh oh, oh, you better catch that blast, Jane. You better catch that blast. Okay, we're gonna go back over here. So um, to actually finish, <laughs> to actually finish, we come over here and we have to talk to Tobley. Unipalooza was a super smasherific success. But we mustn't let success go to our heads. No, no, no. We must succeed again once more. Well, do relax and enjoy it. The show, I mean. I know, I know. As long as you're here, why don't you join the bum on stage? Well, totally. Who are you? You're most welcome to. In fact, I want you to. I insist. Since you asked. Uh, let's go on stage. And this is it. You can watch this and there's like different camera angles and stuff. Um, but it's not really like a scene or anything. Pain's asleep because she doesn't want, she doesn't want to sing. Um, but Yuna's chill and you can see there's another angle of pain. Where's Riku? There's Riku. Riku's chilling. Riku's chilling while Pain sleeps. And that's it. You don't have to watch it for a certain amount of time. You can just be done whenever you're done. Wow, it's happening. It's hot. I'm burning. I'm burning. Thank you so, so much. Really and truly. I must give you a little something in return. Oh, that's okay. We really enjoy doing it. Right? Well, well, I'm delighted that you were so entertained. Yup, yup. I'm also very ecstatic to hear you say so. This is a dream. Mine, I mean, joining everyone's hearts into one ginormous heart. Aww. So that's why I do it. My work. Yes, sirree. Dear, I've talked too, too, too long. Much too long. Future customers await. Back to work, work, work. Ahem. Work. Good luck. Oh, oh, I nearly forgot. I'd like to ask your help again one of these days. I sure, Toby. Totally. I'd like to formally request your later participation in advance. Woo-hoo. There's bubble soap on the microphone pad. It's stuck to it. I can't really get it off without making lots of noise in y'all's ears. So I just have to look at it. <laughs> so there we go. That's episode complete for Moonflow. You don't really get anything for that episode complete. All right, we should be at 85% now. Yep, okay. All right, let's go to the next place. So next we're gonna head on over to Guado Salam. Um, so there is a uh, publicity to do here, but I, you have to watch the scene first because I don't see anybody. So yeah, basically head up here. And let's see what's going on with the musicians in the Guados. Guados back in Guado Salam, that's nice. Could be no sweeter melody. Hey, trauma. It is as if this music delivered the Guado from our unhappy fate. Reviled by all of Spira, most of my people decided to forsake Guado Salam. Those of us who remained until the very end eventually tired of our miserable fortune and fled to Makalania. We went to wither away <sighs> together with the woods. That's so sad. Well, that is when we met our musical friends. They too were prepared to fade away with their beloved Makalania woods. 
Yet hearing them perform, I felt a quickening in my blood. I was quite moved. I could not stand by and let such exquisite music be extinguished. Ah, Trammel. After consulting with the other Guado, I decided to bring them home to Guado Salam. Not a single Guado objected. It's been many years since I've seen such solidarity among my people. <sighs> Surely this music was the salve that healed our weary hearts. All right, so then we have to talk to him again. I am quite aware of Lorenzo's hatred for the Guado. If they were to attack tomorrow, I would neither run nor hide. Wow. If they asked to talk, I would talk. Were they to take my life, I would give it willingly. It's pretty intense, Trommel. Not the Ronso. They don't want bloodshed. Right, because they're elders on top of things. That is auspicious news. The Guado, too, must choose a new leader. What about you? Preposterous. I will never be remembered for anything but my service under Lord Jiskel and Lord Simo. Doesn't have to be that way, Trommel. You're still here. Ah, quit your bellyaching! You'd make a fine leader! You guided us to salvation without any concern for your own safety. Mm -hmm. You shall resolve worthy of a leader. But my strength came from your music. You're wrong. The music only helped you unlock your own inner strength. Right? You, you really think so? Then I will work these old bones as best I can. For my beloved Guado. If you're ever feeling weary, we'll play a song to make you cheery. Episode complete. Right, so just like a bunch of the others, we do want to go back to Guado Salam. There is a bit more to do there outside of the episode complete. We couldn't do it beforehand. Let's go! Hey! Ho! So we're going to come up here and talk to Trommel again. Oh, Lady Yuna, I'm glad you're here. Please... Please feel free to take anything. It's the locked you need. door. What is this place? Yeah. This was to be the final resting place for the memories of the Guado. Before leaving, we carefully stored away those things we had passed down for generations. I'm told that some of us stole back here for a nostalgic glance at lost time. Even the most unassuming of memories can console a wounded spirit. In that case, I shouldn't take anything. On the contrary, my lady's path leads to a bright tomorrow. Wow. The Guado would be honored if you used their past to shape Spira's future. So ransacking artifacts of um, an almost forgotten uh, people is totally cool. It's totally cool. That's what that's what we're learning right now. Are you the Lady Yuna? Yes. I knew it. Leon and Aid told me about you. Really? You're friends? Yeah. I heard the Ronso hate us, but Leon and Aid were really friendly. Wow. Oh, this is for you. Aid gave it to me. Tempered Will Garment Grid. So we got the con flag. I assume she gave Leon and Aid the conflagration yeah, garment grid. They gave me tons more like it. 
Wow. They both Lydia traded. told me the story of Lady Yuna and the Ronso Elder. Now that I've met you, I think I want to go meet the Elder, too. <sighs> you should. Besides, Lian and Aid promised me that we could climb their mountain together. All right, so inside here, you can get Barrelized Sphere and a Tetra Bracelet. Then, oh, not that way. Down this way. Oh my gosh. No, wait, no, it is this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now that we're in Chapter 5, I, we can get into Tobley's room as well. So inside Tobley's room, you can get some Kaiser Knuckles. I wouldn't be outdone by some young tart. The Guado too wishes wish to bring joy to the masses. No more debt collecting for me. My soul yearns for the chance to dance. The first rule of the stage is to never be shy. So they all want to work for Tobley. This is a, this is a line of people trying to work for Tobley now that he's famous. Look, even one of LeBlanc's people is going to do it. Hey, it's not like I'm leaving the syndicate or anything. I'm just uh, doing some scouting, gathering data as part of my job, right? Yeah, she, she thinks she's going to have two jobs, sure. All right, so in addition to getting those items, um, we also have some publicity that we can do here. So if we walk outside of Guado Salam, the elderly lady that we have done publicity with a whole bunch, we can do with her again. So for her, we're gonna do, hello, um, the first one. And then for the, hello, matchmaking, we're gonna do the fifth one. All right, back inside of Guado Salam. In here, we can do publicity with the innkeeper and you do the second one. If we come up here, there's a Hypello outside of Tobley's house. Yep, this guy. Um, you can do the third one with him. This little girl right here, remember she was on the bench before? She's gonna, she wants to be a performer now. Um, you can do the first one with her. Now we go in the item shop. So in the item shop for the customer, you can do the fourth one. And for the shopkeeper, you can do the second one. Okay. Now that sphere that we got, we need to go watch it. So we're going to board the Celsius. And talk to Shinra. We haven't done that in a while. I don't know why he says that. Like, why are you leaving? I don't understand. Anyways, um, if we do the treasure spheres, we're looking for Yevon's secret. Yeah, there it is. Yes. The Crimson Squad is no more. Maester Keenock betrayed us. And my friends, they turned on me as well. I have no place else to go. Then why do you come to me? I too am a Maester of Yevon. Surprise, Seymour scene. I don't suppose Maester Keenock and a certain other Maester might be vying for power behind the scenes. Huh. So an enemy of an enemy is a friend. I will not fail you. Very well. I will take you under my wing. Consider any record of your association with the Crimson Squad erased. Thanks, Seymour. You have my thanks. I will go into hiding until the time is right. Is this wise, Your Grace? Who knows what he might be planning? I can use him. Like wow. the High Summoner's daughter. I don't recall asking your opinion. Uh. The shoop of carrying Lady Yuna has crossed the moonflow. Now then, shall we begin preparations to welcome my lord's future wife? Hmm. 
<laughs> Very well. Man, the first time I played this game, I was so shocked to see a freaking Seymour cutscene. Like, I could not believe it. I was like, what the heck? I didn't think he would come back in this game. But he do, and there's his scene. So we learned some fun things about his connection to Barilai and what he was planning with Yuna. All right, we should be at 86.2% now. So let's use our little tool to make sure that 0.2 is there. Suddenly see more, yes. 86.2, okay, we're, we're right. All right, so that is all of the places that have publicity that you can do in chapter five. We have done them all. So now we're finally gonna go to the Calm Lands. If you go to the Calm Lands before you do that, then you can't do any publicity or marriage stuff in chapter five. Um, now, if you do everything, you're gonna have total PR points of 10,005. We did mess up a little bit, so we're, I think we're gonna have like 10,000, uh, sorry, not 10,000, 1,005. I think we're gonna have 1,000. We also messed up one of the marriage points. The total for that is 415, but I think for us it's actually gonna be 410. We'll, we'll find out exactly. We're gonna have slightly less than the top. But here we go, here we go to the Calm Lands. The moment of truth is at hand. Now we finish this. You want a piece of this? You got it. You talk big, old man. Time to put up or shut up. We're ready when you are. Take this. Zero points. 998 points. Okay, so we, we were off by a little bit, um, but we got almost all the points. And for the spots that we messed up, I told you guys what we did wrong. Anyway, that's, that's the max. Um, victory is ours, now be gone, as we agreed. Wait, wait! Tobley, come to save the day! Far be it for me to say or speak, but you mustn't, mustn't argue like this! It really won't do, not at all! Yep, yep, I can taste it in the air! Confrontation, I mean! Guess simply will not come with all this confronting! Please, 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 allow me to take care of business. Episode complete. Thanks to Tobley's intervention, Open Air and Argent, once bitter rivals have united forces to bring you the Calm Skies Partnership. <laughs> And there's a new game. I know we didn't play any of the games, but there's a new game if you want to play it. All right, so that is the episode complete for the Calm Lands. Boom. And of course we have to go back because there's lots more to do and collect. All right, so if you get enough marriage points, you can talk to him and you can get your reward. Well, this this here's it. Time to see what all your hard work got us. The people, what's come from a son, or all these here folks. <laughs> so he's got some marriage prospects, actually. You did a right good job, maybe too good. Never even thought there more than one woman would show up. Well, <laughs> well, things of something to figure out my son will marry. I'm mighty grateful. And you get a speed bracer. So that's what your reward is for finishing the marriage quest. It's a speed bracer. Um, speed bracer. Okay, so then let's, let me save. So there's lots of chests to collect in the calm land. So we're gonna run around and collect some of those. The first one being behind the agency. Remember during chapter four, we saw the guy um, put a chest up here. Well, here we go. Five, 50,000 gil. 50,000 gil. We don't want a Calm Lands Chocobo. He's not gonna be bold. I hope, I hope he runs. Yeah, run away. Okay, after you um, steal the 50K from his chest, you should come back around and talk to him. Can you spare a minute? I've, I'm in a heap of trouble. <laughs> How can I, well, or you see, I had this thing hidden away and now it's gone. 
you haven't laid eyes on, oh, 50,000 gil around here, have you? You want to tell him that, yes, you did. Actually, I did. Ho oh, ho, paint me yellow and call me a chocobo. You really done saved me. Now, now, I won't hear explanations I owes you, and that's all that matters. Go on before I get all choked up. Take this so you get sword lore. You want to do this so you can get the sword lore. All right. Um, so then... Yeah, okay. So we're gonna go back around this way. Because there's lots of other chests to collect, but you definitely want to do those. We're going to go over to the north side of the Calm Lands for some more chests. Stop giving me chocobos in the Calm Lands. They are useless. Run away. Is it even possible to kill a chocobo? I don't even think it is. Oh, I think I did just kill him. I saw like the body there for half a second. I never even tried before, but I guess maybe it is. Okay, the first chest we want is down that little path back there, I think. Hell yeah. Oh no. Mm-mm. 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 Put your animations. Roll out. Why? Riku? The heck? I don't know what you thought you were thinking. Alright, so there's this chest right here. And this is a Cerulean ring. Oh, just a chocobo. Can we, can we kill it? Oh, he ran away way too fast. He didn't even try to choco cure or choco protect. Or choco mateo. Oh my god. Terrifying. I scared. I scared you guys. <laughs> you missed me. I escaped too quickly. The next chest we're trying to get is along the north, like, side, like, edge of the Calm Lands. Oh, yeah! So we're gonna run along there and try to get it. And I don't remember exactly where it is along this north side, but it's somewhere along here. to sleep. Why would you do such a thing? Oh, I need to check on their accessories, too. It's been a while since I've looked at those. Let's see what they're wearing. 
I still want the ribbon on her. Is there a better strength or defense that I have now? No, I guess muscle bracelet is still the best. Because we can do strength 20. But there's a magic defense 60. Super high defense is always good. I still want to do the protect effect for sure. What have I got here? Constant haste effect? Yes. Let's make her fast fast. Ooh, Kaiser Knuckles is strength 50. Let's do that. I don't think they're high enough level to break the damage limit on Berserker, so I don't think there's any reason to do that. Oh, there it is. There's the northern chest. Go around. Oh man, it's gonna make me walk around that too. Okay. Mega Phoenix. All right, now we've got a bunch of chests down in the ravine, so we're gonna go down there. Back into the Yojimbo area. The sunken temple. Here comes the yeah, look at that haste on Riku. Oof. Nice, nice, nice. <gasps> Magic counter. Oh, they're all about to learn it. Yes. So then pain's on the last one. So there's a Vade encounter. Oh gosh, it's 400 points. It's so many points. So many points. Can I walk through this? Yeah, I can walk through here. Okay. to cast doom on me. That's so rude. Why isn't... Oh, it finally did die. I was like, why didn't that thing die yet? Thought for sure they had done enough damage. Magic counter, yes! They're gonna be powerhouses soon. It's gonna be really good for a boss later. So there's this chest right here, which is some X potion. And then if we go down in the ravine, there should be another chest down here. I think it's over here. Yeah, there it is. Back in that little alcove.
Mega Phoenix. Then we're going to go into the cave. And if we warp back to um, Yojimbo's chamber, yeah, to the back. And then we'll go back on this teleporter. So he's not here anymore. It's just the hole, but there is a chest. And it is Aurora Rain. So that's another key item. Um, and you want to get this because it's the other, it's the other boost for the, for Yuna's, um, you know, like summoner garment. Or rain, break HP limits. So you can break damage limit and break HP limit. All right, then we're going to warp to the right. And in here we have, here we go, an electrocutioner. And we're going to warp to the left. And this is a defense breaker, break breaker, bracer. All right, for this next one, we're gonna start to run back um, towards the front. It's, I think, kind of close to the back, but back towards this way. Don't remember exactly where it is. Oh, there it is. This is a null tide ring. She's all jittery from her haste, like. So back at the front, if we come around this way, we're going to go to that big room that's towards the beginning. Two chimeras. Get him. So many enemies in here. This would be a good level up place. But I think the Thunder Plains place is probably better. So, oh, there it is. I see it. Fast like lightning. Null frost. So that's a null frost ring. Okay. That's all the treasures. That's all the treasures in the calm lands. It's 
So the Calmlands is one of the areas um, that actually has two episode completes, not just the one for the PR mission that we did. There is also an episode complete for the Chocobo Ranch. So that's where we have to go next. We have to go check on our Chipokobos. I know we didn't finish farming them up when we were doing that farming in Chapter 3, so the first thing we have to do is see how many bold chocobos we have. I don't know if we have a farm full of them. Um, we do need a farm full of them, really, to do this quest properly. So hopefully we have lots. Because so we really couldn't check on them in Chapter 4. And then I didn't want to come here until we until I showed you all the different um, PR and marriage spots, because if we came here before then, then I wouldn't be able to show them all to you. Um, that we're in chapter five. So let's save. And I think if we board the airship, we can just teleport to the Chocobo area. Yeah, we talked to this chocobo. Yes, let's go. All right, so we got to check our choco roster. Hey, Clasco, what's up? Oh, we ended up farming too many. Okay, let's do choco browser. Okay, we have some normals and some timid, so we have to release those. Okay, so it's... Reserve six, seven, and eight. Okay. Yes, I think I would do like reserve eight. Okay. And then reserve seven. And then reserve six. Okay, Choco Browser. Okay, so now they're all bold, but we only have 11 of them. So we definitely are gonna need more. That's not gonna be enough to uh, to finish. But let's see what we can go ahead and do. But first, let's save. And we need to check our percentage. We should be at 86.4% right now. Let's make sure that's true. Okay, yes, we're at 86.4%. Okay, give me one second though first. I gotta go pee and then we're gonna do some chocobo. Okay, we're back. Okay. So, let's do this. All right, so we need to, mm -mm -mm. All right, so we need to dispatch to the calm lands. Okay, we dispatched four chocobos to the calm lands. Let's save right here. Then we need to go fight seven battles for them to come back. Okay, let's increase the battle frequency. There we go. So battle one. And we're just gonna do them because we're trying to level up Berserker too. So we're not gonna escape or anything or flee or whatever.
Battle number two. Let's catch this one. What if it's bold? Probably isn't, but it might be. So that's two battles. Oh, stupid Geshel Greens. There. Oh, yeah. Got all four. Okay, we should only catch one more because it's going to kick bold chocobos out, so we don't want to do that. Alright, battle five. Stop missing! Get him! Thank you! Battle six. Was that battle seven? I don't, I, I think that was battle seven and I just didn't say it. All right, so now what we're gonna do is save. And we're gonna make sure all the chocobos return safely. Back safe and sound, yay. Yay, Choco Runner 2 is back safe and sound. Choco Runner 3, safe and sound. Choco Runner 4, safe and sound. Okay, fabulous. Okay, now we need to uh, feed them. Well, let's make sure we can level them up for us first. Let's raise them. Oh, only Chocobo 2 can raise. Hmm. Okay, so we need to switch out... Change roster. Switch one with reserve. Three with reserve. And four. 
with reserve. Okay, they can all. Okay. Alright, and then we need to feed them. Um, I guess this is fine for now. Junk food greens, okay. Alright, so that was all good, so let's dispatch to Calm Lands all of these level 2 chocobos. Okay, seven more battles. Hopefully we have just as good of luck with the level two as we did with level one. Battle number one. Oh, I forgot to check my Choco browser to see if any of those Chocobos were not bold and needed to be released. Let's go back in and do that. All right, um, Choco browser. Oh, we got two normals, okay. Reserve six and, s no, reserve eight and nine. Okay. Okay. So there's three, we still have three spots, okay. So we've only done one battle. We can do six more. Battle number two. Battle number three. Battle number four. Fry. 
battle number five. Nice knowing you. Battle number six. Battle number seven. Let's save so that we can reset in case any of them don't come back. Okay, let's see if all of our level twos came back. Safe and sound, yay. Runner two. Oh, it ran away. Okay, so when they run away, you wanna reset because you'll get different if you when you bring it back up. So we're gonna, that's why we save beforehand. So we're gonna close out we're going to open it back up and load the save. All right, safe and sound. Safe and sound. Safe and sound. Safe and sound, okay. All four are back. So now we need to raise them again. Okay, so only Choco Runner 4 can get level 3. Let's see, okay, these can all raise to level two, good. Oh my god, okay, oh, this one can be level three. Oh man, I messed up. Okay, wait. Uh, Choco Browser, where's my other level three? Okay, he's Choco Reserve six. <laughs> okay, um... What about Choco Reserve 7? Can you get to level 3? No. Okay. So we've got these two level 3s. Oh, let's see. Choco Browser. Yeah, so I've only got Choco Runner 3 and 4. Okay, so what we need to do is release... Let's do Choco Browser. So Reserve 1, 2, and 3 are all level 1. So those are kind of useless to me now because we already did that step. So we're going to release Reserve 3... Release Reserve 2, and then Release Reserve 1. Okay. 
All right, let's check what we did. Okay, so we've just got level twos and threes now. So we're gonna have to farm more chocobos because we need to do four, send out four level threes and we've only got two level threes. So if we go into our browser, we've got eight. So we need to farm eight more chocobos. And we're on, we're on the step three. Okay. All right. So when we do this again next week, we're going to go to Thunder Plains and do Thunder Plains first, because that's where we actually want to farm the chocobos. And, um, and that way we can farm our chocobos back up after that and, uh, and try to finish this. It is very rare that you can do it kind of all in one go because not all the chocobos can level up all the way to five. So yeah, that's pretty normal. So let's exit. And let's go down here and save. Actually, let's let's board the airship. Let's board the airship because I know we're going to Thunder Plains at the start of the next time we stream this. So we'll save on the airship. There we go. Okay, so. If you're watching this VOD on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.